guest is with a company that he says bridges the 4K entertainment gap. And there has certainly become that gap with a lot of new technology these days. He is the founder and senior technologist, love that title, from Nanotech Entertainment, David Foley. David, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine. Cool name, by the way. Thank you. Um, <laughs> let me find out. First of all, let's talk about this this gap that has occurred because of 4K and new technologies, and then let's talk about how you are solving it. Yeah. So you know, last year here we were. Everyone was talking about 4K TVs are coming. Here we are this year. Not only are they here, we've got second generation starting to show up. <laughs> yeah. But what's happened is the TV guys were too fast, and now we're we're lagging way behind on content, and we're also lagging on how to get content to the screen. Say, similar to many years ago when HDTV was first coming out, That's and right. we, we just were clamoring for HDTV content, and there wasn't enough. Absolutely. And, and of course, now everything, it better be pretty much in HD, and eventually everything will be in Ultra HD, of course. But in the meantime, you're right, there is that humongous gap, and, and we want to enjoy our new technology. If you've invested That's in right. one of these new That's Ultra HD or 4K TVs, but how do we then get the content? Right, so we, we've gone about two approaches. One is that we built a, four, a 4K streaming set-top box. We originally were just going to do the software, but we realized there was nobody doing a box in the market. And uh -huh. so we decided to go ahead and build a box. And that's very cool because you talk about a set-top box, but this is tiny. It's like a, a, maybe a, a, a deck and a half of playing cards side by side. Probably a good way to, that's to, right. to, and show, to tell you on the radio, but watch on our video when you get a chance. It's a very small device. Of course, one would expect with the HDMI as well uh, so that you can get it to your television. Um, and tell me about this particular device. What is it called? It's called the Nuvola NP1. The Nuvola M NP1. NP1. Okay, and the it. Nuvola is Italian for cloud. Oh, ah, so yeah. while this is a very cool device, uh, there's a lot of information perhaps residing in a cloud somewhere that's yeah. powering it? That's right. So it, it's actually a streaming box. We, we like to call it the Roku on steroids. Ah, very good. And uh, we've been able to take advantage of the new... NVIDIA Tegra 4 processor, mm. which you've seen in the Shield and some of the high-end tablets, but it's yeah. also a great multimedia processor. Very cool. And so built around that, we're able to stream 4K to your television right. over the internet. So this is where we're actually going to be then getting streaming content that's available in 4K for that's our right. Ultra HD TVs. And uh, the NP1, the Nuvola NP1, is going to now convert it or, or somehow buffer it? I mean, what is it actually doing that we as consumers might understand? <laughs> well, it actually it, it does a couple of things. One is that uh, it's an Android-based device, which means that all of your Netflix and Hulus and Amazon Video Primes, those are going to run on there as well. Sweet. And it will take that content, if it's in 720 or 1080, and it will scale it in real time to your 4K television. And it does it a lot better than a lot of the low-end TVs because they don't have a nice advanced scaler. Yeah. Because we have a, a high-end NVIDIA processor in here, we can do a lot of scaling. That's on, very cool. On top of that, we can also deliver 4K over the top. And we've done a lot of work on the software and content side so that we can actually deliver 4K as low as 6 megabits. Wow. Because obviously 4K, just by its very nature being pretty much four times what we're used to with That's HDTV, right. means a lot of data. A lot of data. <laughs> That's, you need a big pipe to bring this information in, or you need a Novola NP1. That's right. You need a, a big pipe or a really good compression and really good decompression. Yeah. And yeah. we spent a lot of time on that area, and we actually, when we set out to build this project, we looked at what the consumer space was, and we saw that, you know, between 6 and 10 megabits was kind of the sweet spot for what you're going to get in the home. And so we've targeted that as our delivery. We can go all the way up to 60 megabit, and deliver you near lossless 4K. Wow. So if you have a 100 megabit Comcast line, you're <laughs> going to get near lossless 4K. Yeah, and good luck with that because not too many people have that. Uh, yeah. Comcast isn't just giving that up so easily. <laughs> um, but there are other sources too, like maybe you've got uh, Verizon's Fios or something exactly. where, you, where you can get that kind of bandwidth, take full advantage of the, the kinds of stuff that you can do with your product. That's right. right. And then on the, the other side, where the other drought was is actual content, we opened up a studio in San Francisco called 4K Studios. And we've invested in infrastructure to take 35 millimeter prints, scan them into native 4K. And we'll be offering that starting next month. We're going to have our own channel called Ultraflix, and it's all 4K content. Wow, so it's Netflix and 4K. 
It's Ultra right. Flex. <laughs> Ultra Flex. <laughs> I'm liking that. And uh, it, is this available now? Is the product available? It just went into man manufacturing and we'll be distributing it through uh, our distribution partners in the next month. Okay. And how much? Two ninety nine. Excellent. I mean, it's obviously less is even better, but the fact is it's affordable. <laughs> yes. And, and when it can replace these other boxes, like you said, it's still going to be compatible with all the stuff we've been using anyway. That's right. You can get rid of some of the clutter on your set top or in the vicinity, wherever you're using it, because most sets now are hanging on a wall, hopefully. Um, the fact is this nice little box, the Nuvola NP1, will do the job for you. And, uh, and the stuff you've been used to using. That's right. Ah, loving it. Thank you, David. We appreciate you joining us at CES. And, and good luck. Be sure to keep us informed uh, as to your progress, and we'll let our audience know about it. We do. Thank you very much. And you want to visit them at ntek.com. I'm sure that stands for something. That's our ticker symbol, NTEK. Uh, oh, oh, well, very good. So you can even invest in them if you like at the same time. <laughs> How about that? NTEK.com for more info. And, of course, when you visit intotomorrow.com, you will see not only the 2014 CES highlight video and all of the video snacks we've posted. You'll see interviews of all the radio interviews on video as well. And, of course, David's link, too, at intotomorrow.com. I'm Dave Graveline from Las Vegas. We continue on the Advanced Media Network. We'll